Hey guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex. I want you to go to the official WhatsApp website. And if you go to Help Center and you type Android to iPhone, you're going to see this result. How to migrate your WhatsApp data from Android to iPhone. Here it says that you need Android 5 or about. So because of this, I wanted to try Android 5. So I do have a phone with Android 5 right here. Look at this phone, guys. I don't know if you remember it. This is the Moto X second generation, and it has Lollipop, and Lollipop is Android 5. So WhatsApp says that we can use this Android version, so I decided to try it, you know? A lot of people are still complaining on the comments that they cannot do it, that on the iOS, they don't see the option for WhatsApp. So I wanted to test it with this Motorola with Android 5. So a couple of things that I want to point out that this is the WhatsApp Messenger version 2.22.13.76 and it's the one from June 24th, 2020. 2020. I'm also using Move to iOS, the latest version from June 1st, 2022. And here I have an iPhone 7 with iOS 15.5, which is the latest iOS. So let's start this. Let's configure the iPhone first. Of course, you need to have the iPhone factory reset it like this. So we're going to go through the options. We're going to skip them pretty much. I'm going to log into my Wi-Fi and then uh, passcode options. You're going to click don't use, don't use passcode. And here you're going to click on move data from Android. We're going to open the move to iOS app, continue, agree. Continue and here continue and this is the code 209035. Preparing, waiting for, and look at this, transfer data. Look at this guys. So this is kind of different because look, it says camera roll files. And look at this guys, files WhatsApp 37.7 megabytes. But when you select this and you click continue, you don't see the other screen. So this is not gonna work, guys. I already tried. This is not gonna pass the WhatsApp chat. So somebody in the comments mentioned this, that they did this. When you set up the WhatsApp on the iPhone, it's asking you to retrieve a backup from iCloud and not from move to iOS. So this is not gonna work, guys. So I'm gonna cancel it before anything. What I want to do is I want to download a beta to see if it's gonna fix this. Again, WhatsApp beta APK. And we're gonna go to WhatsApp Messenger. Okay, and here we're gonna look for the latest beta. Let's see, what do we have here? See available downloads. And you see here from January, but we know that there's more. Okay, so June 30, okay? June 30, we have two variants, 2.22.15.8. And let's click on the first one, all right? 2.15.08.002. Let's click on that one. Download. And they say, this type of file can harm your device. Do you want to keep? Okay. And then I'm going to open it. Install block. We're going to go to settings. And we're going to enable unknown sources. And we go back. Let's go here, downloads. And we should have it right here. It says, do you want to install an update to this existing application? Your existing data will not be lost. The update application will get access to whatever. No. So click install. It says app install. Open. And let's check the beta version. It's 2.22.15.8 beta. Hopefully with this beta, we're going to be able to transfer all the WhatsApp chats from the Android to the iPhone. So let's try again. I'm going to close this. Actually, you know, it's always a good idea to do a, a backup. Chats, chat backup on this account and backup. 38 max. Okay. So now that we have a fresh backup, Let's try the move to iOS. Okay, 216154. Preparing, that's a good sign. Waiting, transfer data. Look, and now we have WhatsApp here. Before, we used to have files WhatsApp. Now we have WhatsApp alone. Oh, look, we still have files WhatsApp, but we also have this WhatsApp. Before, we didn't have this, so this is the new thing. So hopefully, it's going to work. Let's do it, guys. WhatsApp. And this is what we needed, guys. So I think it's going to work now because before you didn't see this message. You didn't see this screen before. So this is guaranteed that it's going to work, guys. On a Motorola X second gen from 2014 with Android 5, guys. So if I'm able to do it with this old Android device, you should be able to do it too, guys. Please try it. Start getting chats ready. Almost done. Next.
I'm also going to select contacts, contacts and WhatsApp. But it says here WhatsApp 16 megabytes. Just in case I'm going to select this ones too, right? Yes. Files too. Okay, what's up? Now continue. Let's see. Transferring. One minute. Transfer complete. Done. So you're going to forget the Android to make sure if you click what's up, it's logged out already. So let's continue on this one. Continue setting up iPhone. You're going to log into your Apple ID. It usually takes a while. So finally, I have the option for password. This always takes a lot of time. I don't know if it's my internet or my device or my account. I don't know what's going on. Let me know in the comments if this is happening to you. It takes a long time on your device too. And I have full internet right here. There you go. Apple ID, I'm going to put more options. Don't upgrade. It may take a few minutes to set up your iPhone. Look, agree. Making this your new iPhone. Continue later welcome to iphone and here we go guys we have all the stuff what we need to do is we need to download whatsapp and right here open now we need to verify our number again 954 and you know that i have my sim card here so 658-5568 954-658-5568 okay so done yes we couldn't send an SMS, okay? And you can call me in an hour. You can call in an hour. So I figured out what happened, guys. So looks like WhatsApp only sent a text message if the SIM card is inside the phone because what it does, it verifies automatically on the phone. I mean, you saw that in one of my videos. So this is happening because in order to try the new betas, I need to constantly install WhatsApp and verify it. So that's why WhatsApp for security measures, they don't allow you to verify your account too many times during the day, you know? So we're gonna have to wait uh, for an hour and then we can make the call. So I'll be back guys. And finally guys, after an hour, it says you can now retry verifying your phone number. Tap here to open WhatsApp to verify. Okay, and I'm gonna say, um, call me, and I'm gonna get the code right here. Call me. Verification code is two, three, six, eight, one, three. You're verified. And look at this, move chats from Android. Tap start to move chat history to this phone. Permission needed, access all photos, moving chats from Android, next. My picture there done now we're gonna click allow to access the contacts and now the numbers are gonna change to names and we're gonna check what do we have here yeah we have our chat and we have our chat here too so the transfer was a hundred percent successful let's check out the uh, what kind of whatsapp do we have you can see here is that is version 222 1374 I have my chats, no problem at all. So I just proved you guys with another device, the Moto X from 2014 with Android 5 Lollipop that this transfer is possible. So in total so far, I just did this transfer five times. They are all successful with three different devices and a lot of people want me to do it with a Xiaomi, with a OnePlus. I mean, I don't have all the phones guys. So if you want to send me one phone to try it, I will happily do it. But if not, I'm going to have to buy it. I want to thank you for watching my videos, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. That's the best way you can help my channel. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Please keep trying with the new betas until you are successful. And I'll see you on my next video. Take care. Bye.